Hello, Mut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to work on this uh, beautiful frame that I got from Tadarkar Arts. Uh, they are a mixed media supply company based in India uh, that I am working with them on this video. And uh, I'm going to use the products uh, that they have in their stores. Uh, this frame is uh, absolutely beautiful, so I want to use it. And I'm going to use this vellum paper, which is quite thick, uh, again uh, belongs to them, uh, to make a design inside the frame. So I'm using this stamp from Fisker, uh, Fiskers uh, to do some gold uh, embossing inside the frame using this vellum paper. So I'm using my Versamark ink. Uh, just to stamp this beautiful uh, delicate design all around the paper in a way that it will be uh, remaining in the frame creating a nice design uh, you will see in a moment I'm using this uh, princess gold from Ranger uh, embossing powder and I'm just heat setting it it's a very beautiful gold I like this gold uh, a lot uh, it's uh, a bit matte so this is how it will look uh, and uh, I need to cut uh, all this paper in a way that it will fit inside my frame uh, and I will have these beautiful leaves and branches inside the uh, frame I'm just using my pencil to draw around the frame so that I can cut it and I'm going to now cut it uh, so that it fits the frame the frame I can I will uh, I'm going to stick it inside the frame like this and actually we can use the frame separately and also to have another design I'm going to use this canvas uh, and place the frame on the canvas first I'm going to use this uh, metallic acrylic paint again from uh, the darker arts uh, they have many colors as you can see in greens pinks uh, golds uh, and this uh, beautiful uh, dark pink uh, i'm going to use this uh, dark blue to color my canvas and uh, my plan is to use a few colors that goes well with uh, gold uh, to give uh, some color to my frame and the canvas uh, so uh, we create a design around these few colors um, so I will uh, color all that uh, canvas uh, with that blue nothing special and uh, I'm going to use these flowers that I found in my stash uh, I always keep white flowers in my stash so that I can uh, paint them and they become any color that I want uh, if uh, flowers are not so cheap uh, so I, I think it's really economical and uh, useful even uh, to buy white flowers so that you can give any color to them and uh, use them uh, in a way that goes with your project. I'm going to color paint uh, some of these flowers with this blue and actually I'm going to use also this uh, fuchsia, fuchsia pink uh, sort of color in some of the flowers and I will leave a couple of them white uh, and uh, I will uh, make the center of the flowers uh, gold all these uh, acrylic paints are shimmery they are metallic so they have a certain shimmer to them and uh, as you see I'm using this coffee color uh, which has uh, which looks like a um, dark gold uh, vintage gold uh, inside the flowers which makes them go with my project and I'm going to uh, do the organization of the flowers and later stick them all together uh, around my frame Before 
I do that, uh, this is a light gold color. I decided to do some splashes on my white flowers um, because uh, it, uh, it makes them more cohesive and more interesting rather than uh, flat white. Uh, they have some interest on them. These branches uh, are from uh, Scrapiniac. Uh, they are also stocked in the Tadaka Arts uh, website. They have many many brands you will see. And uh, I'm going to color them in gold directly. I don't use a gesso before because uh, the color of the branch is not so far from white so I think it will take the gold well which it did uh, and now it's time to stick everything uh, my flowers and the branches I have the basics uh, I decided to use this uh, little uh, girl design uh, in my uh, frame as well the idea is actually you could put a real picture inside the frame uh, just to replace that I'm not going to put a picture uh, I decided to use this little girl it's a stamp from Carabelle studio I'm again using my Versamark and I'm going to gold emboss it. I might have uh, gone wrong with the angle a little bit, uh, slightly too much to the right, but uh, okay, it's fine. It's not too bad. Let's see how it looks. It's okay and uh, I quite like it. Uh, the girl looks uh, elegant inside the frame. Now it's time to stick my vellum paper. I'm doing this last because I was waiting if I want to do something else uh, so at this stage I think it's safe to stick it uh, I'm using tacky glue uh, I'll use this uh, dry wax uh, from Prima uh, it's a gold color uh, it's a vintage gold color uh, I'm applying it with my finger uh, on the edges of the frame uh, so that uh, my frame also has a hint of gold to go with the rest of the project. I love these waxes, they are really uh, very easy, soft to apply. And now it's time for my splashes. Uh, because uh, I have uh, pink and uh, blue flowers uh, on the side, I thought a little bit like very little drops of uh, pink and uh, blue uh, on the vellum paper uh, will be nice so I'm doing that and that's it uh, I'm not going to splash all over the paper and in real life it looks better I think in camera it doesn't give the feeling uh, too much and let's see how it looks on the canvas now as I said you can use this frame alone and put a real picture on it uh, inside it um, but uh, I'm going to see how it looks on the canvas. I'm using this gold wax uh, on the canvas as well. And again, I will do little uh, pink splashes uh, on the corners a little bit. Uh, so that uh, the canvas also uh, has a little bit pink to be cohesive with the rest of the project. And the idea would be to stick the frame at this stage if you like uh, to use it with the canvas. I'm just not going to stick it and think about it a little bit how I want to keep this project uh, but I very much like the colors uh, the blues and the pinks and the golds and I love the frame uh, so that's it uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, and as usual you will find the links uh, to the supplies down below at the description area thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you next time